hello everyone so now we are going to do one more troubleshooting lab if you remember in our previous class we done some troubleshooting lab okay so this is a small scenario where we have the head office and the branch office if you see this is a head office this is a branch office okay this is the head office this is a branch office they are running the eigrp in this router and in this router but this pc are unable to communicate with this pc they are getting the ip from the dscp server they configure dscp in this router and also they configure dscp in this router separate dscp they are running for head office and branch office pcs are getting the ip address no issue but they are unable to communicate from the head office to the branch office and branch office to the head office so we need to check we need to do the troubleshooting how we can fix we need to check if you see here i will go to this i will go here if you see i have the ip 192.168.1.2 .2. okay my ip is 1.2 for this pc let me go here and check here what is my ip here 2.2 .2. okay so i am trying to access the 2.2 .2. so let me go here i will write here ping 192.168.2.2 .2. okay destination host unreachable destination host unreachable so you need to think you are unable to reach and request timeout destination host unreachable so your packet is going from here till here after that they are unable to go because this router don't know anything maybe this is the one of the reason but we will verify because if you see destination host unreachable so this guy don't know destination okay that's why we are getting destination host unreachable if request timeout means maybe your packet will go from here to here okay let me write here your packet will go from here to here but it will not come back if you get the request timeout so let's see now now you we already check pc2 is unable to communicate with laptop 0 okay we are getting destination host unreachable so now we will log into the router r1 and we are going to check in r1 r2 what is the issue why we are not getting what is the issue we will check now okay let me check here if you see here i log into the router r1 now what i will do i will write show ip root okay i am writing show ip root so i am not getting any root in this one okay what i done i log into the r1 router r1 and i wrote here show ip root why i am writing show ip root to check the routing table if i see inside the routing table i am not getting any root whatever directly connected only that is available in the routing table okay if you see i should get this network 192.168.2.1 in the routing table but i don't have that one and they told they configured the eigrp so we should have the root with d okay we should have the root with d d is nothing but eigrp so nothing is coming here so what i can do here i can write here first of all i will check do i have the neighbor or not okay so what I will do, I will check do I have the neighbor or not. So I will write show IP EAGRP neighbor. So when I check, I don't have any neighbor here. I don't have any neighbor. So what is the issue? Maybe EAGRP is configure one side, other side it is not configure. Maybe we have some issue. We need to figure out. Your manager told you that head office is unable to communicate with the branch office. You need to solve the issue okay your manager told this is your ticket try to fix this okay so we check in the r1 what i can do let me give you some hints before going to the troubleshooting we are doing the eigrp troubleshooting okay we are doing the eigrp troubleshooting so let me write here some hint first what we can do we need to understand whenever we are having the issue in the eigrp whenever we have the issue in the eigrp we need to check example this one is pair right like this this is the pair so whatever subnet we are using we should use same subnet okay sometime we use uncommon subnet example sometime we will configure here 192.168.1.1 and here we will configure 192.168.2.1 means this is a class c slash 24 this is also slash 24 so this is network 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 host host here is network 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 host so network portion should be same here is one here is two so they are in different class they are in the different network 
they are same class they are a class c but different network so you need to remember whenever we are running the e eigrp opposite connected subnet this one directly connected subnet should be in the same network it should not be in the different network this is the first point you need to remember second point what is the second point you need to remember the k value okay before going to k value we can say whenever you are configuring the eigrp you will use the as number autonomous system so you need to remember whatever router you are configuring in the eigrp all router should have the same as number not like in the ospf we are writing ospf1 ospf sometime we are writing one sometime we are writing ospf2 okay example i will configure this in the r1 and this i will configure in the r2 it will work for ospf we are calling this is a process id if you changed process id if you write one router 1 another router 2 another router 3 no problem it will work process id no problem but for the eigrp as number should be same if you have different as number then it will not work okay so this is the second point you need to remember whenever i am configuring the eigrp as number should be same first here same network same network as number should be same as is equal to i can write as number this is the number should same okay for all router this is the second point third point what we can say k value should be match k value if you remember eigrp is using the bandwidth we have the k k1 k2 k3 so all k value should be match for all the router if k value is mismatch they will not form the neighborship k value should be same you need to remember this okay this is also one of the point before doing the troubleshooting of the eigrp you should know this point that's why i am saying you this after that you need to remember eigrp when you are configuring eigrp if you are not getting the neighborship you need to check the maybe in eigrp someone is configure as a passive interface passive interface is nothing but it is a interface which is going to stop the hello it is going to stop whatever the messages they are sending it will stop that one so if anyone configure passive interface remove that one okay if you have passive interface then also it will not work this is the one thing and another thing you need to check maybe someone is filtering someone is filtering the multicast messages multicast messages multicast ip someone is uh, what we can say multicast ip or multicast traffic because eigrp is using the multicast address so you need to check if anyone is blocking maybe someone apply the acl with the help of acl they block some ip with the help of acl maybe they block the multicast address if they block the multicast address then eigrp also not work so you need to take care about this one also and one more thing you need to look the frame relay if you are using the frame relay in between the two router by default they will block the multicast traffic okay so what you need to do you need to allow by default frame relay block the traffic multicast traffic so what we will do whenever you are using the frame relay you need to enable frame relay is a very old technology now we are not using but maybe if you are working in any project maybe they have old system maybe they are using the frame relay so you need to make sure multicast traffic can be forward because by default frame relay block the multicast traffic okay so this is the points you need to remember whenever you are doing the troubleshooting of eigrp okay e i g r p e i g r p so you need to remember whenever you are doing the troubleshooting same as okay same network directly connected same as k value should be same you should not have the passive interface maybe someone block the multicast traffic by using acl you need to check that one if you are using frame relay in between the routers frame relay by default block the multicast traffic you need to allow that one okay these are the point you need to remember whenever you are doing the troubleshooting of the eigrp so now let's do i log in here okay and i check here they are unable to form the neighborship so what i will do i will write here show ip interface brief just to check the interface is up or not sometime you will have interface down also so interface is up no issue i can write show ip protocol 
just to check which protocol is running if you see we are using the eajrp this is the routing protocol is running running and the as number is 12 here okay what else we can check if you see with this command show ip protocol you can get the as number you can get the k value if you see this is a k value k1 and k3 is used okay by default k1 k3 is used for the what we can say for the matrix purpose and maybe sometime you have that timer difference so for that purpose also you will have the issue so whatever the standard value we have that is standard value is there for the k1 k2 and router id is there and if you see auto address summarization here automatic summarization is disabled and if you see this network is advertised okay and if you see the internal ad value will be 90 if we get external that will be 70 so this is a default value everything work perfectly here by seeing this one now we can log into the second router and we can verify here also so what i will do here if i go here i will write here let me configure this as a r2 so we can differentiate okay this is the router r2 now i can uh, write here show ip interface brief just to check interface is up or not so when you check here we have the interface up here okay we have interface up here so what i will do i will check show ip eajrp neighbor we are not getting the neighbor i will write show ip root we are not having any root in the routing table so what i will do now i will write show ip protocol just to check that one if you if i write here show ip protocol you can check here k value is we are using k1 and k3 that is 1 1 so everything is good this is also good by default whatever this value that is okay no issue and this one we advertise but if you observe carefully here the as number what is the as number 21 here where in the router r1 okay in the router r1 when you check here this is the as number if you check here this is the as number in the router r1 what is as number in the router r r2 okay this one this is the r1 this is r2 so if you see in the here this is the as number what is the as number 12 here is 12 here is 21 that is a problem i told you whenever we are running the eajrp or router should have the same as number if you have different as number then it will not work so here is 12 here is 21 so maybe someone is configuring by default they configure uh, wrong they do misconfiguration okay so what i will do i will go here i will uh, log into the r2 let me correct this name also maybe you are confused here this is the router r1 label i will correct here this is the router r2 okay now let me go to the not this router i will go to this router i need to correct here so i will write here config t i will write no router okay eajrp what is that one 21 right by mistake someone run so i will remove that one so now we don't have any eigrp if you see do show run section if i write eigrp nothing is there okay so now i will configure the eigrp how we will configure i will write router eigrp remember as number should be same what is the as number of r1 that should be the same in the r2 if you see r1 what we have 12 so i am using here also 12 okay so if you see here i write router eigrp 12 now i wrote 12 after that i need to advertise so i write network whatever network i have if you see this one i will advertise this okay and the other one what i have this will be 2.0 i done this one so one thing i finish let's see i am getting the root or not show ip root still the same problem here also nothing is working right let me check show ip root nothing so one thing we fix as number is having the issue now we need to check what else we can have let me write show ip protocol we can check the k value here and here both side show ip protocol okay show ip protocol let me write and we can check the value which value we will check we will check the k value so here k1 i am using i am using the k3 here also k1 and k3 so this is good no issue and this number is also same so what is the problem then okay let's see here what is the problem here now if you observe carefully you can figure out 
okay if you observe carefully what we told we told whatever we are connecting directly connected should have the same network right if you see 192 168 12.0 here 21.0 so someone configure incorrect here someone do misconfiguration here instead of 12 they wrote 21 okay so we can check the ip also show ip interface brief if you see here they done the misconfiguration ip also if you go here also show ip interface brief so this is the r1 if you are using here 12.1 here you can use 12. Dot something not 21 that is the issue so what i will do i will, i need to remove this ip and put that 12.2 then again i need to configure the ospf or i need to add this network so let me do now what i will do i will go in the global configuration mode i will write interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 i will write here no ip address i remove the ip address i will add the correct ip address when i remove the ip address if you see i have something here when i write this when i remove this ip i am getting the hello messages from here okay let me check here do i have the show but if you see retry time is exceed i am getting hello message from here but this guy is not sending the hello okay so if you see do show ip interface brief so this interface is still i don't have the ip so i need to assign the ip this guy is sending the messages here but we are not sending any reply back so this time limit exceed okay so what i will do i will configure here the correct ip so correct ip is 192.168.12.2 255.255.255.0 okay i configure the correct ip let me check do show ip interface brief here i configure the correct ip 192.168.12.2 so this is the correct ip now what i need to do i need to check do show run section okay section eagrp so if you see in this one someone advertised this is incorrect we don't have the network of 21 dot that is 21 dot zero okay so i need to remove this i need to add 12 dot zero 12 dot zero this one so what i will do i will go inside router eagrp 12 okay and then i will write no and i will paste whatever i copy that one i need to remove this okay i remove this one after that what i will do here I will write here network and I will write 192.168.12.0 12.0 okay I added the correct one I advertise correct one when I advertise correct one if you see this go up neighborship new urgency form and if you see this go up okay and we can check now we will have the root if you see show IP root you will get the root if you see this is the root I am getting in the routing table d is nothing but what is the meaning of d d is nothing but eigrp and if you want let me show you show ip root eigrp so now i am getting the eigrp this is the id value why i am getting 90 because i am getting the root internally and this is a metric this is a next hop from this much time this came up and this is my living interface okay and what else i can do here if i write show ip eigrp neighbor we can get the neighbor information so i am having the neighbor if you see here this is the handle h is nothing but handle this is a sequence number this is a zero i can say this number is zero first uh, i learn this network so this is zero if i learn another network then it will be one two three so on so this is my neighbor ip this is the what i can say this is a neighbor address this is the interface this is the hold on time okay and here this much time it came up and this is a rtt okay rto and the count and the sequence number okay let me show you again this timer this is 11 now become 14 we have 15 second hold on time is 15 second and what else we can check we can check show ip show ip agrp topology okay so if you see this is a topology inside this one what we have p all are having p p means passive passive means good when we have a a is active when we have issue the, that time we will get the active but now everything is good we are getting successor and we are getting the 
fd that is feasible distance so everything is working perfectly now we can check this guy is able to communicate with another guy okay let me try now before he is unable to communicate now he should communicate because before we don't have the route now it should work if you see it is working okay now it is working perfectly so what we done here we done the troubleshooting what is the issue first issue is mismatch of as number and this directly connected subnet is having different network these are the two problem we face here okay i hope you enjoy this video if you like this video share with your friend and subscribe to our channel share with your friend and uh, if you have any question write in the chat box or whatsapp us our team is going to support you thank you Bye.